Next up, we're going to give a high five <laughs> to the man who brought us the C5. Thanks, Pooch. He's this week's Inventor of the Week, Mr. Sir Clive Sinclair. Well, invention is my passion. I just love the idea of coming up with a, a product that when people see it, they get excited by it. And that's what I try to do. So, what kind of exciting things has Sir Clive brought into the world? Well, first, it was the pocket calculator. It's hard to imagine now, but calculators used to look like this. Imagine taking that into a maths exam. But it was thanks to Sir Clive's ingenuity with transistors that the pocket calculator could actually fit into a pocket. For a short while in the early 70s, it was even fashionable to be seen solving calculations in public. We had quite a bit of trouble finding someone to retail that, but then once people got used to the idea, it created great excitement. Next, Sir Clive introduced us to his digital watch, and this changed the way we thought about time forever. No more gently rotating hands on a nice round watch face. Now we have the sharp precision of the futuristic digit. But it was the legendary range of affordable Sinclair personal computers that really made Sir Clive a household name. They're selling so well, they're selling like hotcakes, that we're having to control the crowds. Everything was, was, was done from scratch. The operating system, the architecture of the machine, uh, keyboard, everything was done from scratch. It was for quite a while the, the best-selling computer in the world. On the back of his amazing success with his computers, Sir Clive decided to take a huge leap into the unknown. His restless mind was already looking to the future when he introduced the Sinclair C5. Today's press launch at the C5 at Alexandra Palace had all the razzmatazz of a three-ring circus. I'd always thought that electric vehicles were a really neat idea. They're silent, they're non-polluting, and in principle, very economical to run. The C5 was quickly trashed. Not by this unobservant lorry driver, luckily, but by pretty much everyone else. No seatbelt, no skid lid, no protection, frankly horrifies me. Whoever brought out that, well, likes putting up a wall and shooting. I found the C5 a considerable learning experience. It came as a shock to, to, to when we launched it and, and we hadn't prepared people for it. Um, and I think if you've got something really radical like that, you do need to prepare people. The C5 was a brave attempt at an all-British electric vehicle, but with a top speed of only 15 miles an hour and concerns over road safety, it was a commercial disaster. But Sir Clive, like any proper inventor, never runs out of ideas. And now he's about to unveil his latest venture. We've had a sneak preview of the son of C5, the rather groovy-looking Sinclair X1. The X1 is a single-seat enclosed electric car with pedals as well, so you can pedal it or, or, or electrically power it, and it's got a range of about 30 miles. Due for release in 2012, the X1, just like its predecessor, still has the ability to turn heads in the street and proves that at 70, Sir Clive shows no signs yet of giving up. I think it is potentially a vehicle that could make a big change to the way we travel around uh, cities and towns. One can never be sure, but it's uh, my hope. Oh, 